In this problem, we'll be looking at angles of triangles. The measures of the angles of a triangle are three consecutive integers for this particular triangle, not for all triangles. We're asked to find the measures of the angles. In the first step of the problem-solving process, which is to familiarize ourselves with the situation, we read the problem carefully. There are no numbers given in the problem, but there is some information about triangles that we do know. Every triangle has three angles, and the measures of three, those three angles always add to 180 degrees. That's a key for solving any kind of triangle problem where you're dealing with measures of the angles. We're also told that these, for this particular triangle, the measures are three consecutive integers. Now, what are consecutive integers? Well, some examples would be 3, 4, and 5, uh, 100, 101, 102. Uh, we wouldn't be dealing with negative integers in this case. Now, how do we find those three consecutive integers, and what do you use for a variable? Well, when you're using consecutive integers, you can let x equal the measure of the smallest angle. In other words, that would be the first consecutive integer. Then the other two angles would be x plus 1 and x plus 2. This would be the smallest angle, the next biggest angle, and the next biggest angle. We don't know what x is, but when we find x, we can easily find x plus 1 and x plus 2. And we also know that the sum of these three has to be 180 degrees, which we can go directly now to the translate step. Since we know the sum of the measures of the angles is 180 degrees, we can write this as x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. Again, we don't know any of those, but we've given a variable that describes them, and that equals 180. Now we have an equation with one variable x, which we can solve in the third step of our problem-solving process. To do so, we'll first remove the parentheses. They are not multiplied by anything. They're simply added, not subtracted. So in this case, we can just remove them. We have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2, and that has to equal 180. We want to combine like terms. We have x plus x plus x, which is 3x, and then 1 plus 2, which is 3, and that equals 180. Subtracting 3 from both sides, we have 3x equals 177. Dividing both sides by 3, we have x equals 59. So, if x equals 59, then x plus 1 is 60, and x plus 2 is 61. So we have a possible solution. These are three consecutive numbers. The question is, do they add to 180? So in our check step, step 4, since we have three consecutive numbers, 59, 60, and 61, we add them together and we get 180. So they do form a triangle. And we can state then that the measures of the angles are 59 degrees, 60 degrees, and 61 degrees.